if I look and sound like shit, it's because I feel like shit. But, you know, what way to make yourself better than being productive? So, I give to you today a birthday haul! As you may or may not know at the beginning of the month, it was my birthday. I, being a bookish person, I got books for my birthday. A hell of a lot of books. <laughs> Surprisingly, this year I got quite a lot of contemporary, which I'm not necessarily the biggest contemporary reader, so I'm surprised that I had so many contemporary on my list. But, I've got some nice light reads to break up academic reading throughout the year, which is always a plus. So firstly, I got Bridget Jones's Diary by Helen Fielding in this absolutely beautiful Penguin Inks collection. Um, so it's got this absolutely beautiful illustration at the front of it, and it's got deckled edgings. And I do believe this is my first ever book with deckled edgings, which really excites me. So I'm going to have to see if <coughs> deckled edging is a thing I like or not. But this book is absolutely stunning and I love Bridget Jones so much so that I also got a double DVD box set of both Bridget Jones' Diary and The Edge of Reason. I think my mother might have been trying to tell me something but... The next contemporary book that I then got was If I Stay by Gail Foreman and as you can see this is the movie tie-in cover which I actually think is really nice. I'm not big on movie tie-in covers but this one I think works well. And I have not seen the movie yet. I'm really excited to see it because I have read this book already. I read it in like a day. More on that on my wrap up. The next book that I then got was Isla and the Happily Ever After by Stephanie Perkins, which is the third and final book in the Anna and the French Kiss series. Thingy Majiggy, whatever they're called. And I have not yet read this, which is surprising because it was a hugely anticipated book for most people on here on booktube. I might get to it next, I just I just haven't had a chance, um, but I'm excited to read it. A bit apprehensive because so much mixed reviews on this at the minute, but oh, it's going to be sad once this is all over because these are just such great fluffy little reads and they make me happy. And if a book doesn't make you happy... Well, it's not a happy book. I don't know where that analogy was going. The next book that I was also highly anticipating that I got was Land Line by Rainbow Rowell. We all know I love Rainbow Rowell. I have actually read this book, more than my wrap up. Um, but it was a great little book. Again, really quick book. I read it in like a day. And Rainbow Rowell is just fantastic. This is actually an adult contemporary, um, as Attachments was an adult contemporary. But more of my opinions on this later, but it is a great, kind of contemporary, kind of magical realism. Like, who ever thought that was two things that could be combined? But, yeah. And I think the UK little small hardback with this cover is absolutely beautiful. I really prefer this to the American hardback. I just do. It's a beautiful cover. Beautiful. Then moving on to kind of more fantasy and paranormal. I finally got City of Heavenly Fire. So excited, this book is a tomb, and I have read this already. It took me quite a while reading it. It is massive quicker than what I thought it was going to take me to read it. But, ooh, it's fantastic. I did technically read this, start reading this a wee bit before my birthday because I'm naughty. But I'm just, I'm, I'm so sad that the Mortal Instrument series has now come to a close. However, I'm really excited for the Dark Artifices, I think it's called. And, uh, but... Again, more on this on my wrap up. Um, it's a hell of a chunky book. <laughs> the next fantasy book that I then got was The Glass Sentence by S.E. Grove. And I saw this book first on Peru's Projects video. Um, and I was so excited by the concept of this. I don't overly know what it's about. I think the world, it's a family of map makers. And everywhere on the wor world, each continent is within a different time period, I think. I'm really excited to actually see what this is about. I think this is going to be a trilogy, so that's also going to be exciting. Uh, this is absolutely beautiful. Look at it, and under the cover is stunning. So I'm really... Oh! Oh! Actually, I forgot! This has deckled edging too! Oh! I have a second book of deckled edging now. Oh, that is awesome. So, um, but I'm really excited to read this. I might pick this up next. I don't know. Oh, but the concept of 
maps and different time periods and travel. It's it, it's exciting me. Um, I'm really excited to get started into it. If I read this next, then I got some graphic novels and a comic. Um, I'll start with the comic actually. Uh, my awesome awesome friend Dean got me the first volume of Guardians of the Galaxy, Galaxies Most Wanted, and uh, this is a first print I do believe as well, because she is fantastic and she is awesome. Uh, I just, I love Groot, I, I love Guardians of the Galaxy, and I, oh, I'm gonna have to start collecting all of them now, this is gonna, this is gonna ruin my bank balance, it really is. Thank you, Nadine! I'm following him with that. I also got a baby final pop grit! Look at him, he's so cute! Oh, I am Groot. Then another awesome friend, Mark, got me George R. R. Martin's The Sworn Sword, The Hedge Knight 2. This is the second volume. I don't own the first volume, so way to go for trying to force me to spend more money on graphic novels or with money that I probably don't have. I'm not too sure exactly what the concept of this is, but I do know that is a storyline that prequels um, A Song of Ice and Fire. I'm actually not too sure if George R. Martin wrote this either, but I think he did. I can't remember. But yeah, I'm excited to get into this because I love Song of Ice and Fire and I love, I love Game of Thrones and I'm excited. So. Ooh. And the artwork is pretty, so that's always a good thing. Then probably the book that I was most excited about, and I'm currently reading it, is Stardust by Neil Gaiman. Technically this is a novel, but it could be kind of considered a kind of graphic novel because it is so beautifully illustrated. It's amazing, and it's got illustrations throughout it. It's a beautiful edition of Stardust. Um, it's by Paul Prince and obviously it's written by Neil Gaiman and it's illustrated by Charles Vess, I believe is how you pronounce it, and so far I'm loving it. It's basically a fairy tale for adults, which in itself is amazing and oh, I love Neil Gaiman so much. And I am more than halfway through, one more session today, we'll probably get this finished off. So much love. So much love. Lastly, the other day, I had some money left on a book token and I decided, well, it was my birthday, I'm going to treat myself. And I picked up this absolutely beautiful edition of Ariel by Sylvia Plath. I believe that this is kind of a collection of some of her best known poems. Um, just before her death, which is extremely sad. And I'm really excited to dive into these. So I am, and it's such a small little book, it's, it'll fly through it, and it's really beautiful. And I've never read anything by Sylvia Plath before, and I kind of wanted to go for something not so typical to start out, so yeah. I'm excited. Also, lastly, kind of bookish that I got for my birthday was my very old copy of The Book Thief. So much love, will never not love, always and forever. had a wonderful birthday. I have amazing family and friends that supply my bookish addictions which is awesome and amazing and I love them all and I've had a great birthday and I've got a lot of reading to now do so I better get on that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did like it please do give it a big thumbs up. That would be great and if you have not already please do subscribe and join our family. You will be most welcome. Um, if you have read any of these books, please do let me know down in the doobly-doo down below. As always, links to my other social media will be listed down in the doobly-doo as well. And until the next video, guys, bye-bye!